Hi guys, so this is JH of Dream, and right now I'm going to be showing you how to get HTC Sense 3.0 Android 2.3.3 on your Sprint HTC Hero. So the first thing you're going to need is a rooted HTC Hero, and if you don't have one and you don't know how, I'll have a video on my channel and I'll try to put a little annotation on how to get it and it'll send you to my other video. Okay, so after that, after you have your rooted hero, you're going to need to go to the um, market and you're going to need to search ROM manager and then you're going to click on the first one that's free and you're going to install this, okay? Okay, so once you have that installed, you're going to go in here in your app drawer and then you're going to find your ROM manager. Okay, and then once you find that, you're going to open it. And then you're going to click on the first one that says Flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. Okay? And then up here, it'll be doing a little um, barbershop looking thing. Okay? And so once that finishes, you're going to go home. Okay, so once you're done doing the Flash Clockwork Mod Recovery, you're going to move on to your computer and you're going to go to the link I have in the description and it'll take you right here. And then you're just going to scroll down to Downloads and it'll be on the left and it'll be right here. Okay, so you're going to download the most recent because by the time you're seeing this video, they might have newer releases. So right now, they only have the RC 2.2. They might have newer ones, but so you're just going to download the most recent and you're just gonna click on it to download and then you're gonna save it to your desktop to make it easy to find and so that's it then you're gonna go back to your home and you're gonna plug in your hero you're gonna plug it in okay and so once it's plugged in you're gonna come up here to where um, to the top and drag down the bar and then you're gonna go to USB connected and if you're running stock ROM it'll be the same thing except you'll have a list right here and you're just gonna click um, mount as um, disk drive okay so once you have that mounted you're just gonna go back on your computer and you're gonna find your hero and it should be under computer so you'll go to computer and for me it's under removable disk F so you're gonna double click on that and then once you're in once you're in your heroes SD card you're gonna try you're gonna make a new folder and you just label it ROMs to make it easy to find and since I already had that made I'm just gonna click into it and then you're gonna get the file you just downloaded and you're just gonna drag it right in here and then I already have it in there so yeah, you're just going to drag it in here, and then you can close that. Um, and so then, you're going to go back to your hero, and you're going to just turn it off and unplug it. And so then you're going to go back home, and then you're going to want to shut it off. I'm just going to go to power off. Okay, so once your hero's off, you're going to want to hold down on the volume rocker, and then hold on the power button till you get this white screen. And then you're going to click Home for Recovery. So you're just going to click Home. And this menu will only come up if you've flashed the Clockwork Mod Recovery, as you can see. And so if you're having an issue with that, you might just want to restart your phone and then flash your Clockwork Mod Recovery again. Okay, so from here, once you're into this menu, this is called the recovery menu, you're going to go down to, oh, okay, you're going to scroll down to back up and restore. Then you're going to click back up, the one on the top, and then you're going to back your phone up. Okay, so once your phone's done backing up, you're going to click back till you get back to this main menu, and then you're going to scroll down to wipe data slash factory reset and then you're gonna scroll down to yes and then this is only gonna take a few seconds okay and now it's done and then you're gonna scroll down to wipe cache partition and click that and then you're gonna scroll down and click yes okay so now once that's done you're gonna go to you're gonna go to install zip from SD card 
then you're going to go to choose zip from SD card and then you're going to find that file that you put the, the download in or the ROMs file that you made if you made it and so I'm just going to scroll down to ROMs oops up here then I'm going to click into there and then your download should be right there okay so then you're going to click on that and then you're going to scroll down to yes and this will install it and this is going to take a while and so um, I'll skip this part right now and then I'll come back to you when it's done okay so once it's done you're just going to click back and then you're going to click reboot system now and this is going to take a little long to boot up um, it's going to sit for a while, so don't be scared. It's because it's like initializing all the new data, and it's the first time that this ROM is going to start up. So I'll get back to you once it's booted up. Okay, um, that took a little bit of time to start up, and it should not usually take that long. That's just because it's the first time it's starting up on the new ROM. So as you can see, we're in the setup, and then you'll just go through all this. Okay, now that you've gone through this screen setup, you can see you're now on the new home screen and it should have all the widgets preloaded on it and you can remove these to your likings. And then you can see you have the new icons at the bottom which is standard with HTC Sense 3.0. You also have the new notifications bar. Um, it's a bit sluggish at first but after a while it'll get faster. And then you have the new app drawer, really nice. And you'll have the new app, um, the HTC Hub. So thanks for watching. If you need any help um, or anything, just send me a message. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. So thanks, guys. Bye.